In this demo, I will show you and discuss the concept of store procedures that are available to an implementer of the MDM multi-domain edition of Informatica. So let's see, where are we? Well, let's begin here. Let's remember that we were executing our stage, load, match, and merge processes from this batch viewer. Remember that in another demo, I showed you the batch group, which makes life a little bit easier, and yet I said there was another way. Well, we're getting to that point now. So let's review a little bit about batch viewer. And let me just take, a, take as an example staging. Notice that we have our tables here for staging, and we're pretty comfortable with this since we've been doing this all throughout our demos. For example, shipping data from address for sale system. Notice that every time we went through the staging process, on the right-hand side, if you were careful, you saw that there is a procedure here, and the CML, CMX, CMXCL dot start cleanse. So start cleanse is being invoked when we execute a staging job. The user interface is supplying the arguments, but you can see that there are things being executed that are being invoked. If I go to let's say the load, another one that we should be familiar with it with now, under STG CRM customer, notice CMX LD load master. So we're, we've been executing these and they return exit codes and we see them if we have errors on the right hand side properties. Let's go take a little bit of the mystery out of this. Now, hang on, we're gonna have to go to Oracle because that's where various systems tables are. Before I do that, let me just show this diagram. Remember, this is the batch data process flow diagram that I've been using to show you where we are in the build process. Well, right now, this is really on a side. We are looking at this area. There are some system tables, some are views, some are systems, and then I'm also gonna show you some packages. So not just the tables themselves, but also just show you enough of some packages and then I'll end with something I have already introduced where I am using one of the procedures. So let's go review the tables first. Notice C repos table, object V, the C repos control, and the C repos job, job status. So let's go in and let's go take a look. And let me go to, oops, I was already in Oracle. So we are working in the TRN underscore lab ORS. That's where we have been doing all of our work. And if I expand the tables, notice those three tables that we were looking at. One of them is a view. So let me minimize tables and go to views. And I'm looking for C underscore repos table objects. So where is it? Ah, here it is. C repos table object V. You can refer to the lecture notes in the module for more information on this. Here I'm just going to quickly show you that we have that and we'll look at some of the columns. Again, because this is a demo, we don't have the luxury of time to go into each column. But notice uh, uh, row ID, object name. Well, what's in here? This table, repos table object V, has a listing of all the times that we have executed these various procedures. So if you look at it, the object name, the object description, we match and merge for customer, match and merge for address. I did an external match. I did a merge data for address type. So everything that I've been doing has been recorded. And not only that, look, it tells me here's a staging, the CMX, cmxcl.startcleanse. Remember, we saw these already in the batch viewer. And then some status, whether it is executing correctly or not. And a few more parameters that really are beyond the scope of our lecture and demo because they're just much more in details. But the point is, you can get a listing from this table. Now, let's, now that we know that if something is logging every, every time we're, we've been executing something and there's a status message, let's go look at a few more tables. That was a view. I'm going to go to tables. And in here, I'm looking, and I don't want to get you seasick, but I'm looking for C repos job as one of my first tables. So here it is, C repos underscore job underscore control. So carefully looking for it. Where are you? C underscore repos. Here they go. Job and control. Here it is. 
look at this table again we can always look at the columns notice there's a the the time that something started running the time that start something started that stopped running and some status messages let's let just go look at some sample data because a picture is worth a thousand words and I'm looking for where is my data come on I just had it in here I see the columns what I'm looking for is this the status the one that says if it succeeded or fail and for whatever reason I just can't get the data right now and I know that let me just refresh my tables I just had it in there let me just see if there's a reason why I'm not getting the data again refresh refresh and here I'm just gonna go quickly go back if not I'll exit Oracle and come back in because it might be an issue with keeping it open so see repause again looking for the table notice there's a lot of data in here isn't there there it's you see it was a refresh issue there goes the data so row ID job row ID table and look at the table display name some of you will recognize these this is the display name that from our object names the system but none of that is really as important as just getting a feeling for that again that we are logging the start the end time when something and a return code a status notice a one a zero well a zero is good a one is sort of good it means something did have a problem with the warning and here's the warning a based object is empty and again because this is a demo we don't have the time to study each one but notice the object description so there is quite a bit of information in this table let's go to one more table and here we want to go to the right almost where we are the the C repos job dot status so we can see what those status are what a zero is what a one is what a two what a three is and so right here where we are C repos job status type I hope this is refresh there it is this is refresh so zero completed successfully one completed with errors or warnings and remember I had a warning then running and of course three is bad failed uh, four is incomplete but three is really something went wrong it, it failed so that is the status of what we were looking at looking at in a moment so all these tables come in handy as we begin to understand what's going on behind the scenes so that we can eventually get away from the GUI if we need to and begin the process of scripting and running them so with that understanding of tables let me go to some of the packages and under packages some are some packages we have some store procedures but I want to focus on the packages and some are encrypted some are not here is a listing of all of all of them do you remember that in one of my demos to delete data from a based object I use the CM CMXUT I'll end showing you that again so here is the CMXUT package here is the body and I believe let's see I believe this is encrypted yes it is so we really can't see it actually compile so we really can't see that okay so notice that's how you would call that's well this is how we list them so I'm just so showing you the listing of them and you can traverse this at your leisure and you can get a feeling for what they're doing so notice that we were calling them now as I prepare to end this demo let me just show you one of the store procedures that I've been using the John cleanup remember that in several of my demos I've used this this is a handy one so I created a procedure and what's really important is that I'm calling the CMX UT package the clan table function and I'm supplying the arguments notice for the most part I cannot go in inside we just saw that this is that, that it's not inaccessible it's it's not available to me so how do I use it very very easily you provide the signature to call it so I provided that I wanted to delete I wanted to delete the C address type based object call it and then I would also run this for customer for address and you know what it's doing it's deleting the data and supporting tables for the based object not the staging on the land not the landing tables so that's a complete use of it notice it wasn't that difficult and that concludes this demo so in summary what I showed you were that there are some supporting tables that we should become familiar some packages and I showed you how to use this and I showed you also from the batch viewer what is actually being called that concludes and thank you